What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to review the K-Swiss Hypercourt Express 2. These are in the tennis section of the K-Swiss lineup. They cost $110, but I purchased them mostly to play pickleball. I bought them back in March, so that's been almost seven months of playing. K-Swiss also has pickleball shoes. They have one called the Express Light Pickleball, but I didn't buy that one because it says pickleball on the back and I find that really annoying like why do pickleball shoes have to say pickleball like these don't say tennis on the back but that's just me I can tell from the pictures that these are very similar so I have a feeling that the commentary I have about these is going to also apply to the K-Swiss Express pickleball shoes this is near the top of the line in the K-Swiss lineup they do have one shoe that's ten dollars more expensive called the Hypercourt Supreme which I've never tried I really like the cosmetics of this shoe it's just got a cool overall design this color scheme is called moonless night and amber yellow I think this black ish color is moonless night it really looks black uh, and amber is the rest of it it's a very good looking shoe overall and they have a bunch of different colors available. The soles of these shoes are non-marking actually but they are um, they've got this sort of mostly herringbone pattern. I think that's a pretty good all-purpose tennis shoe. It's got enough probably grip to play on hard shoe clay type courts. I like I said have been playing on pickleball courts so for hard courts these are um, these are also great. The grip was excellent. They have a nice wide uh, kind of base. It sort of flanges out here at the outside of kind of the shoe. <laughs> so side to side, you um, the movement side to side is very stable. The upper part of the shoe was nice and comfortable. Held my foot really well. It was reasonably breathable for how kind of closed it looks. Just all in all, very, very comfortable. And I've been using it for many months on the pickleball courts and you can see some wear and tear on the toe, but it's kind of hard to actually make out. These on the whole have been very sturdy. The longevity has been great. They're still going strong. I'm gonna still keep using them. These shoes have very nice insoles, which are removable. They're quite cushioned, more cushioned than your standard insole. I've really pounded these quite a bit and they've flattened out somewhat, but overall, this is an excellent insole. Just subjectively, these are some of the most comfortable shoes I've ever owned. The padding in the shoes is really excellent. They feel super comfortable on my feet. It can be wearing it for playing for two hours, three hours on hard courts, and I'm really not feeling it at all in my knees. Great, great padding and comfort on these. Here's a view of the cushion. You got about four centimeters of cushioning back here at the, um, at the heel, roughly. I'm just trying to pick a spot here. And up here, you got about three centimeters near the ball of the feet. That's like a half to almost a full centimeter more than some shoes. Like this is a run of the mill Asics, which has um, two centimeters of padding at the ball of the foot. Overall, these are super, super comfy. The main drawback of all that cushioning is that they weigh kind of a lot. These are 415 grams on my scale. I'm a US 11 and a half. That's pretty heavy. Um, Compared to those ASICs I just showed you, that's about 25% heavier. These fit me on my normal size. I didn't have to go up or down in size. They, ha they have decent um, width to them, although I don't have a wide foot. So uh, that's not to, not to say that they're extra wide, but they felt comfy, not pinched at any place in the shoe. The grip on these, I think I might have mentioned, is really good. I've used these a lot. They are really excellent. I've played in tournaments with them and I've played a lot of rec play. And overall, this has been top notch in terms of pickleball performance. They've also really held up well. I look forward to keep using these. Maybe one day I will try the pickleball version of these shoes to compare them. But for now, I'm very happy with my K-Swiss what are they called? Hypercord Express 2. All right, if you like that video, please subscribe. I got more shoe reviews coming for pickleball, squash, and more court sports. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.